All right, friends and family, welcome back to number 12 of the steps Hi. to the way of walking alone. The way of self-reliance by one Miyamoto Musashi, arguably the world's most amazing swordsman. I have the beautiful Miko Hi. with me in tow once again. Today's principle, do not harbor hopes for your own personal home. And this one hurt me because we literally last week just sat down and mapped out the architecture for our dream house <laughs> that we're going to be building uh, here, hopefully in the very near future. But so talk yeah, to me. Take it into context, though. Take it into context, but tell me what you were thinking when you read it, and then I had something that I wanted to share. I was thinking this doesn't apply to me <laughs> because <laughs> right honestly, out. because I'm not a warrior on the run in this situation. In what is this feudal Japan? Uh, not it's the 1600s. Okay, so 1600s. Kind of moving out of the so, Edo period into modern times. Okay, still somewhat. A feudal period during that era mm -hmm. um yeah i think for someone who is he's a single male he's a warrior he is on the run for his life mm -hmm. he's actually in a it, cave while it, he's writing it's this impractical to dream of having a home and settling in one place yeah when you have constant threats coming against you yeah i mean it makes sense to me because it's a protective measure why bring someone else in a family and a home into the picture and you're putting those people in danger right to me it's an unselfish notion to yeah. tell to tell the warrior in this position not to dream of having their own home because they're putting someone else in harm's way by doing so so i think you know it's, it's noble for him to suggest that to someone in that situation i don't necessarily know if it applies to us today as much in my thoughts i think the I think principle can apply mm -hmm. so the whole thing here is the way or the chinese we translate it to the word way but it's the path of self-reliance so he doesn't want to bring anything into his life that's going to take him off of his path which is to be the world's best warrior essentially yeah. the best swordsman and to not lose his edge bringing a family bringing a home settling down that's going to take him out of that stoic nature and make mm -hmm. him a little bit more soft but I did have a different way of looking at this that we can practically apply to our lives. When it talks about harboring hopes, one thing I see a lot of people do in any aspect of life, whether it's relationships, it's trying to be a successful YouTuber, it's building a business, it's getting a career that you like, or just you know being a person who has built your own self-esteem. Yeah. People harbor hope instead of putting things into action. So what I would say here is personal home, you can put it, you can fill that blank in with anything. Do not harbor hopes for things that you want to see happen. Put in the work, the hustle and the grind to go get them. Yeah, so in other words, like I think the way he's don't saying this it, is he's it. saying don't play defense. Mm -hmm. Don't harbor hope that one day you're going to have these things. Go make yourself into the person who deserves the thing you want. That's Go do the work that brings you the home. So when I looked at how we mapped out our dream home, the next page was, here's how we're gonna build our businesses yeah. to make us deserve having this home, is we're gonna serve millions of people with good content and good things that can help their lives. And you know the way I think God fashioned the universe, we sow that good seed and we will reap a harvest of blessing. Okay. So we won't harbor hopes for our home. We're gonna go out and make the home happen. So in your life, to the degree that you can control it, and forgive us for the wind out here, we like <laughs> yeah, to film sorry. in nature. Um, but don't harbor, don't have hope. Hope is okay because it keeps you in the fight, but don't harbor and, and focus on the hope. Focus on the action that gets you to the thing you want, okay? That's the practical application for today. Remember, do the unselfish thing. Share this with at least three people who will get something good out of it. Subscribe if you have not already and hit the bell so you can stay up to date with all the dope content we drop every single day, Monday to Sunday. And remember to hit us up on Facebook. Send me a message about how we can positively impact your life. It's Bryant Chambers Page over on Facebook. Remember, we are stronger than I. We are stronger than I. We love you. Love. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.